Good afternoon, everyone, from the Cedar Creek Fire in Oak Ridge, Oregon. My name is Willa Hui. I'm an incident meteorologist trainee with the National Weather Service. And we are about to launch a radio sun or a weather balloon to collect winds, temperature, relative humidity, and pressure heights from the atmosphere to see how, what conditions are above the fire to help us forecast what fire behavior conditions we may see over the next day or two. A little thing called the radio sun, and what it does is it collects temperature, uh, relative humidity, and pressure, and it has a GPS tracker in it that tracks it where it's going, and from that we can calculate winds and wind direction. And these are launched generally twice a day. Uh, in the, on the West Coast in Pacific time right now, it's being launched at 5 p.m. and 5 a.m. It's launched twice a day at about um, 80 or so different sites across the U.S and we launch it to collect information to see how the atmosphere is above us. The information comes back pretty instantaneous. So as soon as we launch the balloon right now, it's connected up to our computer. The information is coming back about, I think it's at once every second or so. And with that, we can, we're can collecting, uh, we're looking at what the stability in the atmosphere essentially is what we're kind of concerned with fire weather. You know, we do have, a, we had a period of unstable weather last week that caused large fire growth we're going into a period where we could potentially have unstable weather so we're going to be using this weather balloon to see what conditions are like in the atmosphere and from that we can determine how unstable the atmosphere is and whether we're going to have a lot of fire weather concerns over the next several days because what's next is so we take this little string and we tie it up to the balloon just so we have a little big old birthday balloon for ian to hold that way it doesn't fly away from us. And after that, we'll attach our parachute, what we call a derailleur, which helps lower the sun to get it away from the balloon so it doesn't, the balloon and the atmosphere around it isn't impacting it. And we will attach the instrument to it and then we will launch it. This balloon will probably go to about 60 or 70,000 feet, but the balloons that we launch uh, every single day, twice a day across the country, those can go over, up to over 100,000 feet in the atmosphere. And these balloons will grow to about the size of a one, a typical one, bed, a one bedroom house. All right, countdown, three, two, one. So as the balloon rises, it's collecting temperature, relative humidity data, pressure data, and it's using the GPS to help track its uh, position. And from that, we get wind speed and wind direction. So we launched, the balloon was launched about six minutes ago, and we are currently about 7,000 feet above the ground level. At a pressure in the atmosphere right now, the pressure is about 755 millibars. Current temperature is 61 degrees Fahrenheit and the relative humidity is 1%. So it's pretty dry up aloft. So the balloon's been up in the air about 45 minutes right now. It's right around 46,000 feet. And what we learned from this launch is that, from this radio sound launch, this balloon launch, is that we still have a weak inversion above, the, above Oak Ridge right now, which is why we're seeing a little bit of hazy skies and some of the smoke still trapped in the valleys which is hindering some of the aviation operations. And what the inversion is, generally temperature likes to, temperature cools as it rises in the atmosphere. What the inversion is, it's the exact opposite. It, temperature is actually warming as it rises in the atmosphere. And what that does is it's almost like putting a, like a lid over a boiling pot of water. So it's keeping sort of all that bubbles down at the surface. So it's actually what it's doing is creating a stable atmosphere for us at the surface and it's not allowing storms to bubble up. And once we break that inversion, we'll start seeing a lot more thermals, a little bit more fire weather behavior out there. And what we also learned from the balloon launch is that it is really dry aloft. And we will be paying attention to this as we go forward with this hot and unstable weather that we have coming up over the next several days. We'll be paying attention to how dry the atmosphere is aloft because that dryness could lead to very active fire weather behavior.